Well, hello, Cover Time friends. How y'all doing? It's supper time, and we're eating tonight. I'm not just eating sunflower seeds and pistachios, and, and we're not just. What'd you feed me? I ain't, I ain't had a decent meal in a week. I fixed you a good breakfast this morning. Well, besides breakfast, it's time too. Shame on you. Mom ate good yesterday, but I had pistachios and sunflower seeds. I went to a good meeting. Okay, I'm going to show you the first thing about this can opener, because I've got to open the can. So I told you as I would, and whoever was asking me, I hope you're on here. Good to get a little more plastic. Let's just get really close here. We're doing all can opener right now. So this little can here, it's not being opened. You take your Tupperware can opener, you open it. It's scissor action. You line this little dot right here in the middle. That little silver thing in the center of your can. This is where people miss the mark. They try to do this or something else. You put this in the center. That little, when they put them together, it makes the bird big thing that pulls them off. But when you open them, it's the black one. And you put that little silver dot in the center of your can. Then you close the white one over. Now, when you do that, it'll stay by itself. You can pick that can up. It's on there. That means you're locked into place. And then all you have to do is just turn. And it's just as easy as it can be. And you can use this with your right hand, your left hand. You can switch hands. You can do it with arthritis. You can even, if you need to, take you something like this and stick in it and turn it this way. If you need that leverage or you don't, you don't have good hand dexterity, put your wooden spoon in it and turn it. Anything you need to do, but this is wonderful and that's what that big handle's for. Uh, I think I took it off before it's time. Uh, but when you get it on there, all you have to do is just turn it. Did I go all around that? You was talking till I don't know. I sure did. And then you put your bird beak on there and just pull it up. No, you didn't go around it, John. Shame. Okay, this is a can of <laughs> When you go all the way around it, it works. But if you don't, you see what you do? You just pick right back up and you go on with it. It ain't that big a deal, but it's easy to use. Put, your, put this in there and it comes right off. Now, that does not uh, leave any edges at all. That's just as smooth as it can be. That's smooth. It unseals it. You can see right here where it's not all the way. You can see where it's unsealing it. Can you see that? And that's what you do, folks. That's how you use this handy dandy can opener. Mama didn't know how to use it either. She was trying to use it the other way or something, and it didn't work. Mom said, I can't use that. I see a can. You just have to know how. Center the can. That's Center the doing. black part, the little silver part. That's in there. what I wasn't doing. We're making a quick, simple, easy, and we've done it, got a head start on it. We've got the pasta done, and we've got the chicken done. It's in the skillet. So get you, and you don't have to have chicken in it. But this is going to be a quick, easy pasta salad. I'm going to make up a creamy, delicious dressing right now, and we'll we'll proceed from there. So I'm, I'm going to start. to see if this is. Be careful with that, Mama. I'm gonna start with about a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise because this is not that big of one, okay? So you do a half cup if you need to or a whole cup if you need to. So this is gonna be about a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise. Can you check this out? Because it's Ooh. got some more going in. Pasta's done, done, done. It's a done, done. I think need to cook it a little more because that's got to get the water. I didn't get the water over good enough. It, let it just sit there, Mama. What's, it, it's fine. You'll overcook the other. Um, just let it put your lid back on it and what, let it cook in the water. We'll cook it. I'm going to start it. <laughs> so I'm going to use, just use equal parts, about a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise, and here comes about a quarter of a cup of sour cream. Okay. And I'm going to use a little bit of this lime that was a quarter cup of sour cream quarter cup of mayonnaise this lime pepper you all have to use all this you don't have to use any of this lime pepper y'all's brand lime pepper and y'all's brand 
Southern Secret, which is onion and garlic uh, flavored and a little bit of lemon pepper flavor. So just cover the top of your sour cream with it. I want to say a teaspoon, a teaspoon, if you want any exact measurements. If you don't have those, use your garlic and use your uh, onion. And I guess you can use lemon pepper instead of lime pepper. Okay, this is a little bit of celery salt, just to give it a hint of flavor. And I'm just gonna say dash, dash the celery salt. Okay, not a half a teaspoon, dash, dash. And a little bit of good old fashioned Italian seasoning. And it's gonna get a dash, dash, cover your sour cream. Probably not even a half a teaspoon of that if you're a measurer. This is olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. I'm just going to squirt just to get the flavor in there. If you have mayonnaise or something with olive oil in it, you don't have to do this. This is just the oil that we're going to need to work this up. So all that together, I'd say put a tablespoon of olive oil. Okay? Y'all good with that? And of course, we're going to do a shake, shake the salt. Literally, shake, shake. That's all we're interested in. And a shake of pepper. This is black pepper, we love it, so I'm going a little heavier on it. Now I've got freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Somebody freshly grated and put in this container, and that's what I'm gonna use. Y'all grade your own if you want to. And I'm gonna put a good heaping, couple of tablespoons of this in here. Like I said, to each their own. Don't worry if you, if you want to do other. Mm-hmm. You see how quickly that came together? Now, folks, that is a wonderful little dip for anything. Now, I'm going to put use a little bit of the pasta water, and it will thin it down a little bit. Use this clean spoon and I'm gonna taste. Oh, that is so good. The Parmesan just sets it out. And here, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna put one little squirt of, of this is spicy brown mustard, and I'm gonna put a good quarter size gob of that. Edge here. Oh, my ankle twisted on me. That's good, folks. That's, That's delicious. You can use this for any kind of pasta salad. You can use this for any kind of salad you want to do. Okay? Let's head over here. Let's go down here to this cutting board. Now, I've got some of Mama's freshly pulled. I mean, within the last 10 minutes. Freshly pulled up green onions, been washed, cleaned. This is the small peppers. Y'all know the small sweet peppers. That's a large small. <laughs> this is what these are. Mama, you want me to put these green onion tops in here? Yeah. A few. I don't want to. Up. I don't want to overdo you on, on onion. Don't want to overdo the onions. Well, if you have some vegetables of some kind you want to use, this is one of those you can do it however you. It, I did it my way. Um, salads. So I, in here, I'm gonna put. This was. A red, a yellow, and an orange sweet pepper. This is three whole green onions. Into the pool they go. But now if you have something else, put it in there. If I had some good um, squash, I'd put it in here. 
uh, if I had some zucchini, I'd put it in here. I would put any fresh veggie. I'd put some frozen vegetables in it. I wouldn't mind. I would put, I would put whole kernel corn in it. You heard it right. Whole kernel corn would be good in this because it would have a little sweetness, but you don't have to. This is some good old purple onion, and I'm just going to rough chop it up. That's a little tough, Dylan. The outside pieces. I asked y'all the other night, do y'all cut those off, and why do we? Is it is it habit, or is it healthy, or is it just a good idea, or how come we're into that? But I've always done that on any y'all, a red, purple, any onion, I always cut that Take that last layer off and discard. So in there, those go. This is some of that bacon left over from Mama's wonderful breakfast this morning. It's, it is real bacon because she just fried it. And I'm just gonna chop it up real quick. Might not even put in the real bacon bit since we got this bacon. Mama don't care for them bacon bits, but she does like the real bacon. I can't really discern a difference when I'm eating it in something like this. Now, I could it's on a plate. If you want to, that'd be great. But Mama's found some Asian medley. It's got the little corn in it, and it's going to be steamed vegetables. So, Mama, that would be tasty, I'm sure. We made it on the side. Just get her, get her steamed up, and we're ready to go. Now, if I had little cherry tomatoes like you all use, and just as pretty as they can be, I would use them. But I don't, so I don't let that keep me from having that wonderful tomato flavor in that. That can of tomatoes that took me a couple of tries to open, even though it wasn't the can of was it was my fault. I'm just gonna drain these out with a fork, and in they go. Stick them in there, Mama, for 20. These are good tomatoes. They're diced. And I'm putting about a half a can in there because we love tomatoes. And uh, the juice of these tomatoes, I'm not draining them like you would in a colander. The juice will... Um, thin this down a little bit. It don't have to be too thin, but it, a little bit won't hurt. Look at that, folks. Now, that's pretty. That would be a good dip with Tostitos. Corn chips. Can I put something up? You can put everything up, Mom, if you want. I'm, that's the, I'm through, I reckon. Seasonings, everything except the chicken and the pasta. And it's right there. Ready. And we're ready to rock and roll. Give me a piece of chicken or two, and we'll get it cut up. Oh, look at that chicken. Now, all we did to this chicken was salt, pepper, and a little bit of lemon pepper, and fried it in canola oil, and a, or in the olive oil, and a little bit of butter in a pan. That's it. So, and it's still warm, which is fine. And I'm just going to slice it. It's been, it just came up right. Well, when y'all first got here, we took it up. I took it up while you was talking about yeah. the papers. So it's just been sitting there resting about five minutes. It's a good idea to let the meat rest because it does pull the juices back up. And you want to let that rest for just a second. Now I'm just cutting some of the thicker ones in two and then just dicing them up. Now here's a cheat for you if you want to. You don't, we don't have that option here. Run by your local store and grab your rotisserie chicken. Makes a wonderful salad. This is all we're having. This ain't a side. This is our main dish, our side dishes. Full of veggies, full of goodness. It's going to be good, y'all. Deliciousness on the way. This is a tasty little supper. It's too hot here to cook. It's too hot to 
And I'm not in the mood for like Wait, sides. Side and, yes. So this is, uh, what would I have, three chicken tenders? This is three chicken tenders going in. Mackie, there might be a piece of chicken in the floor when I get through here. <laughs> did you drain these already, Mom? Yes, you did. No. No? Left the water in there, so they yes, absorbed you. a lot. Yeah. I was down on top where the water went over. I left them over and they you need to take any spoon and put it in there. I've got one right here. Actually, this is a potato masher. But watch me use it just like a pro. So I'm going to drain these out as I pull them out. Pasta, pasta. These are just shells. Of course, you can use any kind of, I'd use a small noodle. Uh, wouldn't want a spaghetti or something for this one, probably. I found a bow ties that I just want. Bow ties would work. Uh, panini would work, probably. I think I'm through with whisking. Whisked it away. What are y'all eating tonight? I tell you one thing, I don't know. I hope this is gonna be very, very good, but I bet you it's better than a sunflower and a pistachio. Oh, surely you don't think so. Ooh, I had chicken. Tell them, Mama, tell them. I had chicken, glazed carrots, roasted vegetables, squash, and uh, zucchini, and and I had all of that and lots of desserts. Lots of desserts. I bet you did eat a lot of desserts being on in there monitoring. Different kinds of the chicken, the theme of our meeting was uh, be happy. Be happy. And the chicken had a honey glaze, pineapple honey glaze on it. And the a lot of desserts had honey in it. So it's all about bees. Yeah, it's all about bees. And they said, be happy. Be happy now. I'm eating almond joy cookie. Oh, wow. That sounds, that good. sounds good. Chris? I like have that. I had cake. Kimberly, that sounds good too. Chicken pot pie, Betty. Now you're talking. Mama went out again. John, love it. Alice, she did. She, she's been keeping the roads hot. I titled last night's show, I titled Wild Night on the Town for Mama. Did you see that? Yeah. And I would cook my friend and we were together. If you stuff. microwave the bacon bits for a... Oh, really? Brenda. Brenda Gibson, thank you. So you're saying put these in the microwave? We do have a new microwave today. It looks just like the old one. Except it didn't have a hole in it. Uh, I don't know what caused the hole. I don't know nothing about it. I don't know how they that works. They said not to use it, and we didn't use it. But no. This one is the same brand and everything, except it don't have that little hole in the plastic center. thing at the top. If I can remember, I'll show you a picture of that hole. It don't have that. So I'm thinking maybe that was a problem, and they changed the design over the last four years. Or and five. then I said not to use it no more because it could be dangerous. Now, Mama's got these steamed vegetables coming, but even if we didn't have those, this would be fine like it is. I think you we should just take these up and uh, just put them in on the side of our plate in case we don't want all of that in there. Okay. How about that? Mama's changed the recipe on this. I'm going to fold this around, folks. Uh-huh. Look at that. Now, even though that dressing was thick, you see here, it's all thinned down now. The heat of the noodles and all that, it's all thinned down. Look at that beautifulness. Mm. I love a good pasta salad. If you can throw a little protein in it, I would even make it with tuna fish. Mama wouldn't eat it. I would. 
But all that goodness is in there. Look at that. Now we'll have this and the vegetables on the side. Then Mama's that on the side kind of gal. I might not want to eat all of them. So this has got your chicken. It's got your protein. It's got your peppers. It's got your onions. It's got the mm. wonderful Parmesan dressing in it. It's simple. Super simple to make. We may not like those vegetables. Sometimes I don't care for fresh vegetables. It's got your tomatoes in here, and it's got your bacon in here. And uh, so it's all the goodies. It's all the goodies. And I may put a few more of those on mine. Mama, you want to heat these if you like any better? No, I don't think I'm making them. All right. Is that her or somebody at the door? That's neither. What is it, you? I guess. I don't, I don't hear her or the door. I hear you, then. All right, folks, we're going to give this a whirl. It's just so good to be sitting back in the kitchen with y'all. I'll bring y'all up so you can see us. Because sometimes the angle gets wrong. All right, Mama. Those vegetables don't look as pretty as they did on the picture. No. Now these green onions here would be pretty to have on top of it. Excuse me. If you want to chop them up and put them on top. I have Did you get you something to drink? No, I got a little stuff of something left here. You got cookie cuddly. Yeah, you got something. I've got coffee, I've got water. Okay. You know I me, mean, Mama, I've always got two or three drinks a row. Uh, you keep two or three hands full, so I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I better still have a little more. Yeah, you're not, we're not even in the right picture. Yeah, there we are. It's been so long, we don't know where to sit or how to <laughs> film. Let's bless our meal. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the opportunity to protect this wonderful meal. We just bless, ask you to bless it for the nourishment of our bodies, dear Lord. And we just pray for all those hurting around the world, dear Lord. Remember each and every prayer request. Those spoken and unspoken, Lord. And Lord, just remember our world, remember our leaders, and just help them lead and guide us in all that we do in your name. We pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right, Mama. Here's your big old chunk of chicken just waiting for you. Oh, Lord. Now, this, I'm going to give you as a close up here. This is just like downtown. Uh huh. Absolutely deliciousness. You're going to get you some veggies to put on the side, as you said. I'm not. I'm I wish I had them found them bow ties. You think you'd like them bow tied better? I love these little corns. They would stick out pretty. Yeah. I love these little corns. Let's see what these vegetables taste like. Not bad for a steamed vegetable. Let's get to this pasta. Well, I haven't got a piece. I still haven't gonna get me a piece. Thank God. Mmm. This is delicious, folks. That little bit of Parmesan and that chicken. You taste a little bit in the put you in the mind of chicken parmesan. Uh, when you have the uh, Alfredo sauce. You like that dressing? Mm -hmm, it's good. It's very tasty, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. This is going to be a summer favorite. We have this about every summer. You may never see us make it like this again. Next time, it may have yellow squash in it, or it may have zucchini in it, or it may have farm fresh tomatoes. It may have some of my cherry tomatoes in Oh, the cherry tomatoes got a bloom on it. Tomatoes are blooming. What a wonderful thing. But this is a quick, easy supper. It's full of protein. This would be great for lunch tomorrow. This you can, it's it's a little warm now with the noodles. And it's very tasty. Very tasty with the warm noodles. But when it gets cold, it'll be very tasty then too. If you need to eat tomorrow, you may have to add a little bit of... Um, a little bit of mayonnaise, but I wouldn't put so much, it would change the texture. 
If you had to, you could put a little bit of, of uh, bottled water, not out of the refrigerator, and just put a little water in it to loosen it up. And that won't change the flavor a lot. No, but a lot of water. Just anything to loosen it up would help with mm -hmm. mama. Yeah. But this may not get too firm. Sometimes pasta does overnight. That's freshness. It almost makes you think the garden's in. When, uh, it firms up, it gets cold. When it gets cold, it firms up. Yeah. My mama makes my vegetables in here because it's very good. You make it prettier if you put the vegetables in there. But actually, the flavor of it with the vegetables, I like it. Yes, fresh is best. And if we had fresh broccoli and carrots and all those goodies and some Without snap peas. Carrots, we just don't have broccoli and all those. Right. Things. It would be easier, but this is a good, quick and easy supper. So what do you think, Mama? It's good. Get it cold on a good summer day. Go out and set in the mm. patio. I'll vote for that, Mama. I love meals like this in the summertime. And if you think it ain't summer yet because the calendar ain't told you so, mm -hmm. that's outside just a little while this evening. You see how red my face is because I was sitting in the sun. Don't take much to make your medicine. I take medicine that must make me allergic to the sun. You've always been a little allergic to I've always broke out. A little bit. I'll show you my. See this hand? See how it's got that spot? And this one don't. That's from driving. If I drive and the sun hits this left, this is my left hand, by the way. <laughs> if the sun hits my hand in the window, I, I get it breaks out and so I have to either I've been what's been working out pretty good I put a mask over it when I get in the vehicle that way it don't do that if it's if it's red already so I better than it was a week ago so sun sometimes can be you know, hard on the body let's bring you down here I want to whoa 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 whoa, whoa. <laughs> something sticky on there and it pulled Mmm, looks like some baked beans left over from Sunday. No, that's what that bacon. That? Oh, I know what that is. It's on my tripod. Jelly from this morning. <laughs> Did you film this morning, Mom? No, but it was sitting over there. I don't know what it is, but it's sticky. It's jelly. Ethan from Georgia. Hey, Kay. Griffin, Georgia. Hey, Brenda. Hey Vicky, how are you? Hey Betty. Someone instant messaged me last night and said, you never see my comments. And I said, really, I don't. That's a true statement. It's not that I'm avoiding you. I just don't see them. I don't see the same thing. And people say, when you call out those names, where do you get them? That's not what I'm seeing. It's not. I don't know how they do it. I get different names than y'all do. I got right now, I've got a Cindy and a Judy and a Sharon. And you all say, that's not on mine. Hey, Shirley. Hello, John and Mama. Your dinner looks delicious. Shirley, it really is. Even Mama approved. You'll be seeing a lot of these one pot, one dish wonders from us in the summertime. Because they're super easy. One. They're very delicious. They're not terribly filling as far as bloating you up. So, we enjoy these. Don't we, Mama? And they're a little healthier. I know there's pasta and sour cream, and yeah, these probably ain't healthy. <laughs> no. But the chicken's good for you. Chicken ain't got no bread in them. I taught myself right out of that healthy decision, didn't I, Mama? Yeah. We're eating on small plates. That should help. <laughs> it don't. We just put more on. <laughs> I've been trying to not do doubles. 
Hello, John and Mama. Hi, uh, Charlie. Um, is that, I couldn't read that. Sherry. Some of y'all, Mama, last night, they said they thought you left the country. You, they hadn't seen you in two days. Huh? I was stressed out. Oh, no. Wednesday night, you just dashed in, dashed out. I worked here. real late. It had to clean up before I went to church. Actually, Mom, I was beginning to think you was too good for us and you didn't want to be with us. So oh, much. sure, sure. That's what she's acting, wasn't it? <laughs> no. Do you want to apologize to all of us? No. I didn't. There's nothing wrong to apologize for. <laughs> I'd rather hurt your feelings than go to church tonight. Nice. Yeah, I couldn't go to church. <laughs> <laughs> the Bible school's coming along. Oh, it's pretty. We've got some talented folks out there. And they've got those kids. Those kids will be so excited. That's what it's all about, the kids. This year it's full of color. More colors than in a crayon box. It, it's got teal and pink and blue and red and yellow and all the primary colors and a lot of the other colors. And I said... One of the girls said, which type of class? I said, they all work. <laughs> so she's got a red one and a blue one and a yellow one and a teal one or something on, on different tables. And I said, oh, it looks, all like, looks great. It looks like a fun room. It's beautiful. Isn't it? mm -hmm. I think great. the kids will love it. And that's what it's all about. Uh, hi from Schenectady, New York. Upstate. Love your guys. Well, thank you very much, Sally. We love you too. Hey, Carol Scott, how are you? Now, I'm not seeing that person who told me I don't ever say anything to them on here either. <laughs> I'm a looking for you. Hey, Gail. Hey, Sherry. Hi from Col Colorado Springs. Wow. Colorado Springs, Colorado. Sherry. We've been out through there. It's beautiful. Love it out through there. April, sorry for your loss. Oh, April. I don't didn't see it. April, if you've lost someone, we we will be praying for you. Hey, Mama, why does the snail not get into a race? Why does the snail? Because it won't leave home. Teresa, <laughs> Teresa Miles, that's the same reason I don't race. It don't want to leave home. He was too sluggish. Too sluggish. Oh, yeah. That was a good one, Teresa. Yeah. That's I like nice. that. And that's the reason I don't race. Did Mama cook pasta in the microwave? And if mm -hmm. so, how does she do it? In the uh, Tupperware pasta. In the Tupperware pasta cooker, we just put it in there with a little bit of salt, a little bit of butter. Now, Tupperware tells you not to put any butter or anything in it. But I like the flavor of it. But we always have. And it washes up a dog dish liquid. And it tastes wonderful. And we've had no problem with it boiling over. Or anything. And it's just wonderful. I couldn't imagine not putting a little butter in there. If you don't fill it over the water line. Right. It. You don't fill it to the top or nothing. But we've had no trouble. Zero out of ours. Um, and it's done great. And we love it. And we use it a lot. Yeah. Um, we use it a whole lot. Did y'all hear y'all's sweet tea today? They came out with coffee. Virgin coffee. They sent me some. And um, I've got a little bit right here. They've got two blends. And they want y'all to get them and try them and let them know what you all think. My favorite right now is breakfast blend. Ask me tomorrow. It may be a house blend. Because they're both very good, and they're both different coffees, and it's a good plan. Mm -hmm. And I've drank both of them, and one day I'm like, yep, this is my favorite, but it's just what I got in my hand. I'm not a coffee snob. Now, I love coffee. There's probably nobody in the world who loves a good cup of coffee any more than I do. And y'all know how I am. How old is sister? I think I'm... I think she sent that to me. It's her going away person. Because I've always loved coffee, but... And it's the older I get, the more I want it. And the more I think about it, and the more I make sure I've got it at all times. But anyway, I'm not a coffee snob. I like different coffees. And if you are one of those people who only drinks one brand, okay, I understand that. But if you'll try some other brands, you may find a few more you like out there. Now, you all have sent different brands of coffees, and you all have sent different flavors, and I've tried them, and I like them. And I, I love them. Y'all 
uh, Brains has come out with coffee. And um, Mama, did you open that box already? We got to undo the box Monday because that's when it really goes on their website. So they told us not, really to, don't know where I put it. not to open the box to Monday. So we'll do it Monday evening. Uh, and you can use our code John, J O H N, capital J O H N, and get 10% off everything you buy, including your coffee and your t shirts. Mama's got two new t shirts and they're nice. Anyhow. You want to show them the t-shirts? <laughs> Mama's such a real follower. You've already seen them if you watch Y'all Brands. Because Mama Sue had hers on this morning and had another one and showed it to you. Go ahead and show them the t-shirts. Oh. I don't care. Well, if we clean. get in trouble, it's all his fault. I don't care. If you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much room, they say. Bring it over here, Mama. I'll show them. Don't y'all tell nobody. This is just between us. Just the people gathered right here, right now. So, see them moving open. I just them all the time. They're not on this website right now, so don't get me in trouble. If y'all run over there right now and then start saying it's not on... Don't get me in trouble because here is the t-shirt. Look at this t-shirt. This is my mama. It says with Jesus in her. With Jesus in her heart and coffee in her hand. Y'all, she is unstoppable. Ain't that mama? I love that shirt. This one here says coffee because adulting is hard. Now it is hard. Yeah. Mama put those up when you're in do, trouble. I do it with their kid and act like a kid and all this. <laughs> so I can't believe Mama dragged them out to show you early because yeah. she shouldn't be doing that. Mama didn't do that. If y'all was watching, she pinched me and made me do that. I need the coffee bag and I'll show them. We're going to unbox it, man. But we'll be late. Everybody else will be ahead of us because we're late on everything because I, I work and I get home late. One bag's on your shawl. This is the breakfast plan. Look at that beautiful bag. Now that's like wake you up in the morning. Yellow. Look at that. This right now is my favorite because that's what's in my cup. You're and in double trouble. You're in double trouble. I stay in trouble. I'm ashamed. Lord, that smells so good when it's sitting back down that box. Don't tell them that we opened this box. Mm. But let me tell you, you send me a box, I'm going to open it. You know, like you get those gifts that says, do not open to Christmas. I'm like, okay, I'll open it at Christmas again. Okay. You took that from my daddy. daddy I, was, I'm not waiting on a box that gets delivered. Daddy would sneak under the Christmas tree when he's all by himself and take his knife and slice that tape, peek in there and see. Time Christmas come, we all know just about what we've had. He'd say, he'd get it up and shake it. He'd say, hmm, I believe that's scarves and gloves, or I believe that's so-and-so. <laughs> You're a lot like him. This is house plan, and look right here what it says, 100% Columbia. Look at that pretty bag. Now, if that don't like say, wake up, sunshine. It's got smiley faces all over it. Don't get me in trouble. Because this won't be on there until Monday morning. Monday. 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 As in after Sunday. And this is just between us. I know you all can keep a secret. You can. <laughs> don't Anyhow. tell on me. Don't let it leak out. And don't go well, looking for it now because it'll be there Monday. At 8 o'clock. A.M. Central, which is 9 o'clock Eastern, and I don't know where it is where you at. <laughs> Another thing is we're having our Etsy special for Father's Day, now through the 8th, and uh, it's 20% off the whole site, and it's Father's 23, just like it was Mother's 23, and you all, several of you all went over there and bought, it's the aprons, it's the chore boards, it's the laptop, did you show them laptop stands? No. It's the laptop stands, it's the cookbook stands, whichever one you want to use that for, and um, 
It's wonderful. But uh, Teresa wrote me the other day and said, don't forget that, John. And I said, I won't, and I'm not. I'm trying to do better. I forget stuff, and I'll, like, mean to tell y'all stuff, and then I don't, because I forgot. This is the wooden. Now, you can use these at work for your papers, or you can use them for your uh, cookbooks or your laptops. They're on there. And look, it's all wood and metal and hinges. It's sturdy. Uh, and it will fold up like this flat. You can need it to, and you can store it in a drawer. But if you need it to prop up your cookbook or whatever you're writing on or whatever, it props up just like this. There's the tall one, and there's the long one. This is like the breadboard one. And here's this one. And they're both the same in the back. See there? Look at ingenuity. Wonderful. They're wonderful to use. There you go, Mom. You can go in there for prices and details, but don't worry about the price because if you put fathers, one word, fathers 23. No, I don't think you have to do apostrophe. I didn't. Just fathers with an A's. Fathers 23. That's for the year 23. Fathers special 20% off site wide all products. And there's the coffee cups. There is the cork uh, coasters. There's the aprons. If you buy something, uh, for your father, put a picture on here. Let us see it. Y'all did that last year, and we loved it. It was wonderful. Oh, yeah. We have the red, the white, the black aprons. It says it's coffee time. John, Mom. Mikey, are you sick? Did she get a hug from somebody? Yeah, she did. Oh, don't resonate nothing here for her to get a hug of. Her dog food in her water. Go get you a drink, Maggie. We're filming. She likes to drink when we film. Did Mama cook pasta in the microwave? Charissa, I froze that up. I say hi all the time from Hampton, Virginia, wow. but they never say hi back. Star Oldham, hi. Hi. Say Star. hi, Mama. Hello, Star. Hi. Hi in Hampton, Virginia. Star, I don't think I've ever seen you on here. No, I know you've been on here. I'm just saying your name didn't pop up because I would remember Star. You would be a star of... I mean, I would recognize that. So, Star, I seen you. Hi. Yeah, We're glad you're here. You. Folks, please don't get aggravated of us for not seeing you. If you was a room full of people and I could look out over the crowd, that's, but this is just, right now I see two names. I see Chris and Deborah. And I can't see any of them. When I pull it <laughs> up, I see Debbie and Millie. And then down there is Roxanne. I see the names, but you only get three names and they're just a flying. And so I catch them as I can. But we, I get them at night when I'm relaxing to go to sleep. I read all. You got them. your mom whole face. TC, what's that mean? Got what? You mean she's sitting over in the other room because she's laid it down in her chair, TC? <laughs> no. I tell her, Mama, prop up. Put a pillow behind you, because you look like you're in the other room. No. But she's right here. I mean, we're elbow to elbow, but she looks so far away. Cause I'm so little. Come on. <laughs> I, I offered. Don't y'all think? I said, Mama, you sit over there. I'll sit in the back room. And she said, No, uh uh. You ain't putting I'm me up there. I can't control that camera. Mama, get in this room. I'm in here. I'm back in pork chops Ooh. and baked potato. It's been a while since I've had pork chops. Kendra, they are good. And put your little applesauce. If you got a jar of applesauce, put it in there. Put your little punk, a quick thing, this little apple pie seasoning or a little pumpkin pie or a little cinnamon. Stir it up and serve it with your pork chops. It's delicious. It's really good. I love good. it. Okay. See, Mama, you're in this room now. They can see you. Well, I'm on the I love coffee this. too, Kendra. Oh, yeah. I love it. I, I, I got up at 4 o'clock in the morning and I thought, I'm just going to lay here a while. 4.30, I got up and made a pot of coffee. What are you going to do? You're, you're laying there thinking about coffee for 30 minutes, and it's just in the next room, and you think, I'm just going to go in there and get my coffee. You ain't sleeping anyway. It says, yes, John, I was surprised they picked Mama Sue instead of you to debut coffee. What were they thinking? <laughs> well, Kathy, Mama Sue is, would be a perfect choice for any debut. So, I don't blame them. She's prettier, maybe. Maybe. She's sweet. Uh, we love Mama Sue. 
uh, all the influencers that are in the you all club, we all support one another. We're not really in competition. We all have our own code that they gave us. That's just so they can see what show might have triggered a sale. But we get, you know, he'll tell us, you know, like, you sold X amount of sales, but not, you know, the dollars. It's just the number of sales. So it's just a fun thing, I guess, for us. Uh, but we're, there's no competition. Now, Mama Sue has helped me out numerous times with questions and stuff. I've helped her out with what few times right. I've been able to. Kimmy, Southern Kitchen, wonderful. Me and her talks quite often. Miss Kimmy's one sent me that beautiful Mother's Day card. Kimmy sent Mama a Mother's Day card. It was so pretty. Um, you know, there's Kaysen, There's I can only want to try to name them all because there's all good people I want to name them Amy. Yeah, Amy's uh, from Louisiana and um, Annie, Miss Annie. We've got a group that we all talk with on here too. So, and there's like 21 of them in the group and they're, we're all friends. So don't think it's a competition. We want you to watch everybody, you know. Um, that's just where we are, you know. Sugar Rebel, do y'all watch Sugar Rebel? Look her up. Um, Kimmy Southern Kitchen, your dog is, she's, she's, she's got a hold of something on her. She's got the allergies. I hope she don't get as bad ripping as you, but. No, she's just, Girl, if you keep that up, you'll have to go to the doctor. Um, but Mama Sue would be a, a good pick for anything. I think I'm a coffee snob, but the brand doesn't matter to me. So you just like good coffee, yeah. Sherry? Yeah. So what was the dinner tonight? It was pasta salad, chicken, creamy chicken pasta salad. And it's one of those, you know, put what you need, what you have, doctor it up. I made a dressing for it out of a fourth cup of mayonnaise, a fourth of a cup of sour cream, some two or three tablespoons of Parmesan shredded cheese, freshly grated out of this down here. It had salt and pepper. It had a little bit of celery seed in it. It had y'all's lime pepper in it. It had y'all's southern secret in it. But if you don't have those with you yet, you can use garlic powder and um, onion powder, and that would be about the same with a little hint of lemon pepper. Um, stirred the dressing up, then I put all the stuff in it. I put some tomatoes. I had to use canned tomatoes drains because I don't have none of them cute little round grape tomatoes. Now, they are the best, and I, you know, I'm not saying if you don't, you know, either or. I'm saying if you don't have them, use your can. Um, so, but I don't have any aromas worth anything tonight. Been buying them from the store when they're pretty, but they... They're not lasting like they did. No. We had some good runs on them, though, but we went the past few times. I got some little wrong, got some big romans of the blooming and sure is a I can't wrong. wait till they bloom and, and turn into tomatoes. And I've got those that I planted. They're little tiny things. I've got to transplant them into little bigger pots. Yeah. All right, folks. Mama, you have anything you want to add? No. I don't think you see the name in here much to comment, but I understand you all have a lot of viewers, so I comment. If you, uh, Janine Triplett, you got to see more on here, Janine, and I bet it won't let me see. Oh, it did. Oh, that's the first time it's done that. Uh -huh. So I comment if you see it, great, but if you don't, that is okay too. Well, thank you, Jane, for being understanding because we would love to just to comment to everybody. We wouldn't want to hurt nobody's feelings at all. But um, from Jonesboro, the Tennessee love. Well, thank you, Jenny. Janine, that is sweet of you to be so kind. Uh, hey, Amy Stokes, happy National Donut Day. Amy, is that today? I didn't know it was today. I went and got me a donut. <laughs> That's like not having a tree at Christmas. Yeah. I didn't know it was National Donut Day. We might get us some tomorrow and celebrate the day late. That would work. That'll work. That'll work. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I was on the National Days for a while. But you know, my <coughs> radio station was just, did you catch that off me? What, coughing? <laughs> my radio station used to tell me the other morning, it's national, but I think I'm, maybe I'm missing that. Uh, Bastello Coffee, y'all, yeah, Marion, I like that too. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Judy. Vicki and Carol. 
John, may, may you do it, Mama? We saw. <laughs> yeah, it's the shirts and stuff. Oh. <laughs> you don't know, like, from behind the scenes. She See her hand? You can't see her hand right there? She could be... I'm not touching you. <laughs> she pinches the fart. Oh, Mama, quit pinching me. <laughs> Do it again. I, no, Mama, you're got your hands up there now. I know you ain't pinching me. I've got about a uh, water over the top of my pasta. Put it in the microwave. The microwave dish. Cook. You got to see more. I don't know. Sometimes I'm Seymour's won't let me see more. Cook 18 minutes and it comes out perfect. Well, we use the jars about 10 or 12, but now 18 might work. It depends on the power of your microwave. Hey, Rhonda. Thank you. We love y'all too. Uh, try kicking horse coffee. Well, Brenda, I've never heard of that, but I, I think I like it. Either. Wake up every morning with a cup of kicking horse. That makes horse. me think it's strong coffee for cowboys. They eh? get drunk on the trail <laughs> kicking horse. Thank you, Brenda Staten. We love having you here. Uh, saw them today with Mama Sue. They were showing shirts and coffee also. Y'all mm -hmm. are fine. That's what I said, Kara. Uh, uh, I said, it's not like I let the top secret out because there's a video on here about it. She wasn't supposed to show to me. You want me to get that letter and read it to you? No, Mama. I don't. <laughs> We're friends here, and it's okay to share that with you. I've been holding it for a long time. I've been not saying. If I said one time before this, no, ma'am, no, sir, I did not. I've been keeping secrets about it for them oh, until you have today. Done good on that. I hadn't thought about yeah, that. Yeah, Mama. I mean, I've been keeping the secret for. You've known it for a long time. For a minute, anyway. <laughs> and um, they they the ones spilled the beans today on their own show. <laughs> and Mama Sue was wearing a t-shirt, so I thought mm. Monday morning or eight o'clock, y'all can get on there and look it up. All right, let's see who else is on here. Bozers, that's a classic. Um, Carolyn, you can't go wrong with Folgers. I like Folgers, I like Maxwell House. Maxwell House is, their logo is good to the last drop or mm -hmm. something like that. Maxwell House is good. Something. Best part of waking up, Folgers in the cut. Maxwell House is good to the last drop. Community's good. You all got me hooked on Community, I never tried it. And y'all started, and I, I, I buy it a lot. Um, but now that y'all's is got it, and it's so good, I guess that's where I'll get mine because it's so quick and easy. You can just order it up, and it's good, delicious. Says Lisa Dobbs, I feel like you were so bad, Johnny. I know, Lisa. I've always been the the good kid that did bad things. Does that make sense to some of y'all? Some of y'all out there are like, that was me. I mean, I never was mean. I never did try to hurt nobody or hurt nobody's feelings. I taught you well. But every once in a while, I'll show you some coffee in a t-shirt or two. You know, I ain't breaking the, no Ten Commandments. I reckon, is there a Ten Commandments about that? Shall I not show that coffee in t-shirts too soon? I try not to break the law. I try to follow the rules. My daddy told me years ago, and it stuck with me, if you if you never lie and you follow the rules, you never have to worry about a thing. And you don't have to try to sit around and remember anything. You just live your life and go on. Because if you lie, you got to remember the lie and who you told it to. And then if they get you caught in that, you have to tell them no one get out of that. Before you know it, you got a string of lies so big you can't even keep up with them. And That's so right. he's always, Mama has to, always taught me. If you just be honest and do the best you can, you don't have to worry about stuff. And I don't like to worry. No. So I try to do that. What happens on the live stays on the live. Virginia? That's right. Lowry? That's right. <laughs> what happens at coffee time stays at coffee time. <laughs> you all are right here in the kitchen with us and we're all friends. And now if you can't be Southern, and sit around in the kitchen and talk about a few things and it'll all get out. 
There's something wrong, ain't there? Thank you, Virginia Larry. I like that. What happens stays here. on the lives stays on the lives. Y'all got that, didn't you? <laughs> You'll make a good truck driver uh, while you drink coffee. I probably would, sure, but I'd probably make it uh, be the truck driver with the most frequent stops. <laughs> as much coffee as I drink. John, what's your 1020? Is it 1020? Where are you at? <laughs> Did they yet, did they? Yeah. I'm at a truck stop. I'll be out in a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I would never get there. It would be bad times. Mm -hmm. I'd be trying to get there and I'd be saying he's drunk too much coffee. He's going to be like, I can hear the dispatch stand now. Uh, the driver would be about 20 minutes late. He's had to make another stop. Oh, those are perfect t-shirts for Mama. Yes, they are, Sarah. I thought that was perfect. They were great for Mama Sue, too. Um, what wonderful. I mean, I always love those. I really do. Those are perfect t-shirts. Yes, they are. I uh, have not been able to find that brand up here. Barbara, there's a website, and I'll post it on the bottom of our comments. So, Monday morning at 8 o'clock central time. Nine o'clock Eastern. Nine o'clock Eastern time. They're going to push a button and it's all going to show up on their website. And he said, if you're on the website already, hit refresh and it'll show up. So, um, that'll be Monday morning. And you can order the coffee. But now the sweet, the peach tea sold out in about six hours. And they thought they had enough to do all summer. Now, he showed today in a warehouse. And it was a huge warehouse full of coffee. You may have a chance Monday morning. So, go ahead and give it a whirl. But I will tell you, and I wouldn't tell you a lie. I mean, I like y'all's brands, but I ain't lying for them. I'm not lying for nobody, but uh, it's good coffee. It really is. It's like the tea. The tea is just good. Don't know what they did to it. Don't care. I just know it's good. It's better than what we was drinking for 25, 30, 50 years. I love the peach tea. Love the peach love. tree tea is addictive. It is. Yeah. It's, That's the truth. You drank a glass, you want another. <laughs> my aunt come over the other day. My aunt is a long time tea drinker. And she said, you got some tea? I said, yeah, there's some in there in that refrigerator in the sun room. She went in there and mama hollered, it's peach. Oh, that's it. And my aunt said, no, I don't like peach. I just want plain old tea. And I said, give it a try. And she said, well, just give me just one little drink because I ain't no peach tea drinker and I just won't play no tea. So she took her one drink and she said, that is really good. And I said, it is. And I said, you want some more? She said, no. Yeah. No, that's enough. I made her the regular. Mama made regular. So that evening, she come through here and I was drinking peach tea and she said, pour me some of that tea. I said, this is peach. She said, I know. That's what I want. <laughs> we swayed her over and within Three hours, she was back on the peach. Even though the regular was there, she liked the peach. It's like, Mama, when they first sent us the tea, I said, Mama, this company has just started up and I want to try this tea. And she said, no, I ain't switching from a lift. I've drunk Lipton for 50 years. I ain't switching. I said, okay, just try it. It's tea. How, I mean, how bad can it be? She said, well, you can try it if you want to, but I'm making me. So she made a jug of Lipton and she made a jug of the Yowls. Because she wasn't going to drink it. So I was going to drink the Yowls. <laughs> and she tried it and she said, well, that ain't bad at all. And for Mama to say something ain't bad, she's, you, and if you translate it, interpretation is that is good. Well... We rank both of those gallons. It don't take us long to go through a couple of gallons of tea. So the next time she's making tea and I watched her and she got the y'alls out and she said, she put it in there and she got the ice. And I said, what you making, Mama? She said, I'm making us some tea. And I said, you making y'all? She said, that was good tea. She said, I drank some. So that's all we've drank since then. I promise. We've not had anything but that. No. And uh, we love it. We really do. So anyway, we told you that before. We're going to get on from here because I've got to go up and water flowers because it didn't rain today. I ain't heard a rain crow either, but I ain't seen no rain either. It's time to sprinkle the flowers a little bit. Sprinkle.
There's a lot of comments that your pressure was too high. It did look higher on the video. I noticed that too, but it really wasn't that high because I just turned it on as apparently, but it didn't damage nothing. They're all out there and they're all good. And sometimes I turn it higher and put it in the dirt so it'll soak in there more. But when I'm on the little fragile leaves, I do go a little lighter. A little light. I do? Yeah, I seen you going a little lighter. Did y'all tell me? To mama? Yeah. I read it. Let's stop Pressure's too high, John. Turn that pressure down, John. It takes an hour the way it is. If I turn, <laughs> if I turn that pressure down, I'll have to sleep out there. It won't hurt you. It ain't that cold. <laughs> Do y'all see what you've done? <laughs> Well, if, I, if you see me tomorrow and I'm like this, you'll not slip in the swing. <laughs> you won't slip in the swing. We got bears, too. Don't forget that. You just want me out there with the bears. And rattler snakes. What is it? Diamondback rattler? We don't have no rattler snakes. Our neighbor's seen one somewhere. But that wasn't at his house. I don't know. Mama, people are mobile. They're all over the place. It could have been 200 miles from here, Mama. I hope it was. <laughs> I don't want to know. I'm just going to say it was and let it go. Um, quit asking questions. Just take some things and say, I know it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't, I don't think. All right, folks, we're going to go. I do have flowers to water. And I got to go check on Maggie. I've left her out there. I can see her out there. I can look out the door and the window and see her. I've been chicken on her. Folks, it's been wonderful to be back in the kitchen tonight. Yeah. It's been wonderful to have a real meal. Some of us ate last night and others of us didn't. Mine was pretty good last night. I'm so glad for you. My mm -hmm. sunflower seeds was beautiful too. I'm on pistachios. You ate healthier last night, didn't you? So you could oh, eat no, they're salted. Oh, yeah, and pistachios, real salty. <laughs> We're going to go. Lord will, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Uh, don't know what we're going to cook tomorrow. We may come up with something to go with this pasta salad. I don't know. But uh, anyhow, you all have a wonderful, blessed night. Enjoy yourselves. And yeah. uh, it's still daylight. You can spill the fire pit tonight. Sit around with the family. Swap stories. Some of y'all better go water your flowers. Yeah, some of you need to do that. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but some of you have got clothes in the dryer you need to go get out because you forgot. That happens here. That's just Every a truth. Some of y'all got to go check your dryer because there's... Why don't you check your dryer? I do. It's empty. Oh, okay. It's empty. Y'all have a blessed night and enjoy yourselves a little bit. And do something to make some memories. Mama... Say good night, Mom. Good night, Mom. God bless you, Sarah. Bye bye. Have a blessed day tomorrow. Bye, y'all.